All right, it is early in the morning, maybe time for breakfast and maybe some breakfast potatoes. All right, so you could use russet potatoes, gold, red, fangling, and those would all work perfectly for your breakfast potatoes. Yeah, so many choices. And did you know there are more than 4,000 varieties of native potatoes being grown around the world? If you didn't know, potatoes are the number one crop here in Maine. Yeah, now during the last potato harvest in Maine, our Hania Shivi was in those fields getting those potatoes and joins us to talk about the caribou russet, the potato that has been the gold mine for Maine farmers. Good morning, Lee and Chloe. I don't think most people know what a potato goes through to be a success story. This caribou russet, for example, had to go through a lot of research and trials before making it. In fact, potatoes are such a huge business in Maine that the University of Maine has a potato research team. They're testing 250 varieties a year, trying to develop better quality potatoes for companies that produce the fries and chips or serve the mashed potatoes that we all love. Here's a behind the scenes look. Each one is a variety. You can see this is just a really pretty smooth skin. It's, it's bright in the marketplace. It would jump out uh, on the shelf if somebody was going to buy them. Um, it has to yield well, has to have tolerance to some of the important pests and diseases, or uh, more stress tolerant varieties, which can help with uh, warming, changing climate. Bags and bags and bags, loaded with different types, colors, and sizes of potatoes. Nowadays, the potato crop in Maine is mostly all picked by machinery. But here at the University of Maine in Presque Isle, they're hand-picking more than 250 different varieties in this research ground. Picked one by one by students and part-time workers, they're labeled for grade, quality, and yield. In his early 70s, Larry Sawyer is in charge of running the tractor. And I enjoy it. I mean, it's... It's not hard work, it's just work that needs to be done. Some nice looking russets again. For 40 years, Greg Porter, born and raised in Presque Isle, has devoted his life to developing quality potatoes to make Maine even more competitive and marketable. We've got every market class represented here from chipping and fresh market to specialty uh, varieties that small roadside stand growers would, would grow to french fry processing varieties. It all starts when there's still snow on the ground. Plants are cross-pollinated in greenhouses in Orono, resulting in thousands of seed potatoes that are then taken to Presque Isle for planting. Well, let's look at uh, some of these uh, really pretty reds up here. That's where Porter comes in. This particular set has been in existence for five years. This is their third year of field selection, and this is a critical year for them. We've tested them now in Florida. Trying to determine if they have enough positive qualities to stay in the research program and whether they're worth the additional time and money. Only one third of these 250 varieties will make the cut. The ones that are left that look very promising will go out to commercial trials. With, they'll start being looked at by growers, start being looked at by our french fry processors and our chip processors. Only a few of them actually get released commercially. And that's only if growers show an interest. And caribou russet was an excellent example of that, where it looked very good in research, growers and processors started looking at it. And it has done very well. Caribou russet has been a game changer for the main industry. Uh, not only because it's a dual purpose, but it also does really well in dry conditions. Don Flannery is the director for the Maine Potato Board. The last three years we've seen an uptick in, uh, in acres in Maine due to demand. And that's why this research is so important. It's valuable to me that my research is contributing to, to an important crop that um, keeps families on family farms and helps generate uh, revenue for our state. According to recently released numbers from the U.S. Department of Agriculture, the total sales of Maine potatoes in 2021 was just a little over $200 million, an all-time high. Whatever varieties are harvested in the future, it will be people like Larry Sawyer and students at the Research Center who will do the work of developing them. If you would really enjoy a job, you never have a bad day. Uh, every day you work. So it's, if you don't like the job, you shouldn't be here. 
all of them, making sure that when it comes to Maine's potato crop, there's always room for growth. Porter says three or four of the varieties tested in this last harvest will probably be released in the next couple of years to Maine growers. After many years of research, Maine agronomy professor Greg Porter released five varieties, including the caribou russet. After all his contributions to the program, Porter is set to retire at the end of this year. He says it's very rewarding to have taught and worked with so many students and to now see his own family growing some of the varieties he helped develop. Hannah Yeshivi, New Center, Maine.